Hello and welcome to Price Reporter's GSA Catalog Upload Portal. GSA contractors often complain that updating their GSA Advantage catalog is complicated, time-consuming, and expensive. Price Reporter has designed and developed a solution that is based on EDI technology and addresses all your needs to make the process very user-friendly as well as time and resource efficient. This demo will show you how to easily upload your catalog and catalog changes to GSA Advantage as well as help you register and perform your first upload. Go to gsacatalog.pricereporter.com. If you are using the system for the first time, click on Sign Up to create a new account. Enter your dunce number and the majority of your information will be pre-populated for you. Go through the wizard and enter the required information as it relates to you, your company, and your GSA contract to set up a new account. The last step is uploading your GSA Advantage catalog. This file needs to be created in MS Excel and formatted in accordance with the template that you can download on the portal page. Once setup is completed, you can go to gsacatalog.pricereporter.com and log in to your account. Choose your contract number and click on it to review and edit the contract information. To upload your Terms and Conditions file, click on Add Terms and Conditions and select the file. Once the Terms and Conditions file is uploaded, a new window will appear, displaying a Replace Terms and Conditions button. If you wish to replace the uploaded Terms and Conditions file, click on the button and repeat the previous steps. To update your GSA Advantage catalog, you will need to go back to the previous screen and click on Uploads. This will open a page that lists all of your previous uploads, if any. Then, click on New Upload. Once you hit New Upload, you will be offered two options. The first is to upload your entire catalog in order to replace your existing one on GSA Advantage. The second is to upload catalog changes that reflect recently approved GSA contract modifications or temporary sale prices. Your GSA Advantage listings will be modified according to the data that you uploaded. If this is your first catalog upload using the system, you should select the Full Catalog Upload option to upload your catalog. Select the contract number from the drop-down menu. If you choose to replace the existing catalog completely, then the catalog number will be automatically assigned in sequence next to the current catalog number. If you have chosen to upload catalog changes, the default catalog number will be the same as in the last approved catalog. You can upload any of the following types of catalog modifications, including new product additions, product deletions, temporary sale prices, and catalog changes. The approval number should match the modification number on the SF30 form that you received from the GSA via email. To complete the upload, you will need to upload the catalog in Excel format along with any images if there are any. First, upload the data file with your catalog or the spreadsheet with your catalog changes. Click on Items and then click on Upload. Once this is done, check the validation results. If your data fails any validation test, it will appear in the Validation Results section. You will be able to download your data file with an additional column called Validation Results, which will contain a description of validation issues for those items that failed the validation test. You can review the issues, fix them, and re-upload the file. Prior to uploading, don't forget to remove the Validation Results column. The last step is uploading your images. Images can be presented by files in either single or multiple zip archives or via hyperlinks that link to the images either on your website or your supplier's website. There is a column called Image in your data spreadsheet where you either enter the image name or hyperlink to the image. You must upload images during your initial catalog upload. After that, you will only need to upload new images as long as the mapping in the data file remains the same. You can also combine both methods and the system will process the images from multiple sources so that some products will be pulled by file name while others will be pulled from web links. To proceed with image uploads, click on the Images button. It will open a pop-up screen. Click Select to choose the first archive containing image files and click Process to import the images from the archive as well as those that will be pulled from web links. If you have multiple archives with images, repeat this process. To save time, only upload the images that have not yet been uploaded to GSA Advantage. 
Those images that have already been successfully uploaded in the past will have their names appear in the spreadsheet. Now your data is ready to be sent to GSA. Click on the Validate and Send to GSA button to upload data onto the GSA Advantage server. Once your upload is complete, it will appear in the list with the following status, Sent to GSA. Once it is successfully tested on GSA's side, the status of the upload will be changed to Approved by GSA. There is much more you can do within this portal. You can perform ETS compliance checks. You can restore and download your catalog to how it is supposed to appear in its present form or to how it once was at any given point in time as long as you are using the portal for your uploads. You can review the history of any product including when it was added to your contract, when it was deleted, and at which price it was offered including temporary sale prices. If you have additional questions, please contact Price Reporter by calling 201-567-6646 or by email sales at pricereporter.com.